So you have a nice 32 by 9 monitor, but when you try to play Starfield on it, that's the result you get. That's because the Starfield doesn't officially support 32 by 9 aspect ratio. On top of it, you might come across this problem that when you're trying to edit your ship in the ship builder, the mouse doesn't really respond as you would expect it to. And instead of clicking the part that you're actually trying to click, it clicks something completely random. And even when it moves on the screen with that part, it's not exactly where your mouse is. So if you were having this issue, so you're in the right place. Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and before we start and I show you how to get rid of those problems, I just want to mention that I'm not the one that come up with the solution for it. I actually found it on Reddit, so naturally the link to the post on Reddit is down in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So in order to fix that problem, we need to create the text file first. So first go to your system partition, then go to users, then go to your username, then documents, then my games, and finally go to Starfield. Now that should work for both Steam and Microsoft Store users, but I only have Microsoft Store version, so in case it doesn't work on Steam, please let me know down in the comments. So once you're in the Starfield folder, what you want to do, you want to right click it and create new text document. And we're going to name this document Starfield Custom. Then you want to open that document and there is a few lines that we need to type in there. Now, don't worry, you don't have to memorize it. I will put it all down in the description so you can just copy and paste it down from the description. But in case you're watching it on the phone and you're curious either way what's on it, I will just quickly go over what you need to type in. So first you need to type in display in square brackets. Then you need to type in F white aspect limit equals 3.55556. The next line is the camera in square brackets again. And then you type in FFP world FOV equals 90. And then FTP world FOV equals 90 again. Now those values are basically your field of view. I'm happy with the 90, but if you prefer 100 or 120, feel free to experiment with those numbers here. You can always save it, go back to the game, come back here and adjust it accordingly to your liking. The next line is B mouse acceleration equals zero. That basically turns off the mouse acceleration completely. And the last line, that's the line that actually fixes the ship builder problem and the mouse problem in it is interface in square brackets again and below that we type in f safe zone x white equals 840. Now once you have it all filled up you go to your file you go to save as and then you actually want to add it the name of the file by adding dot any at the end of start field custom. Also when it comes to save as type you want to change that from text document to all files and then you just hit the save button. Now once you save it you'll notice that we actually have two files called start field custom. One of them is configuration setting file which is the ini file that we just created and the other one is just a text document that we initially started to edit. So the one that says text document and it has zero kilobytes you can delete it right now. So that leaves us with Starfield custom.ini file, which again, it says it's configuration setting file, so you'll know it's the right one. And then you wanna right click it, go to properties and mark the read only box. Then you hit apply and click okay, and you're good to go. If you go back to your game, you should have a full screen available to you. Again, if you don't like the field of view, you can go back to that file and adjust it accordingly to your liking and the mouse in the ship builder menu should react exactly like you would expect it to react. So whenever you click the object that you want to move, it will click that object, not the object 10 meters to the left. Now I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.